What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today what we've got is a TK Maxx huge men's clothing haul. I literally went in on Saturday and I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm gonna see if I can find some decent stuff, any decent designer bargains for you guys because I know I'm not gonna be able to link anything in the description but if you've got like a local TK Maxx near you, then most of this stuff is gonna be in that one. So it's pretty good, isn't it, at the end of the day. I like designer clothes and it's nice to get them at a decent price. That's why I go to like outlets, Cheshire Oaks, stuff like that. Um, but if you do enjoy this video, guys, I really appreciate it. If you could drop it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you wanna see plenty more videos like this because I'm just proper enjoying making this type of video at the minute and there's gonna be so much content coming up until a run up to Christmas, Black Friday. I'm going to the F1, I'm gonna make a sick video on that as well. Let's get straight into it, we've got quite, quite a lot of stuff. I spent, spent 215 pounds and I got loads of decent things to be fair. I got like eight items of 215 quid, which is like nothing. That's like the same price as one coat, isn't it? For designer anyway. Well, let's start trying stuff on. We've got Calvin Klein. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, loads of stuff. Vivian Westwood, this shirt looks wow nice. This Vivian Westwood shirt, absolutely banging some of this, you know. The only annoying thing is about um, TK Maxx is you do have to like spend a bit of time in there and actually root through stuff, take your time, which can be a little bit annoying, but if you want to find a bargain, it is actually proper worth it. All right, let's get proper into it. I'll start trying on, I'll start with the sweaters. Start with the sweaters first. Just one more thing as well before we get into trying all this stuff on. I've got a massive launch coming up for Sulphur Clothing, which is these hoodies that I'm wearing right now. We've got khaki green with the small little logo just on the left chest. The fit is honestly, guys, second to none. I'm absolutely buzzing about these. We've got them in navy as well, and it's actually a navy tracksuit. So we've got navy joggers, a navy hoodie, and I'm restocking the black joggers just because it's probably going to be the final time I restock before the new ones come out. So if you do want to grab them, it's going to be your last chance to actually get them before the new ones come out. Cool. If you do want to pick up one of these hoodies, guys, they're going to be released on the 24th of November at 5 p.m. It's a Sunday, so make sure you keep your eye out for that. But let's start trying some of this stuff on. We'll start off with this Tommy Hilfiger sweater. Looks pretty nice. If you saw my designer shopping vlog when I went to Cheshire Oaks with Laura, you would have seen that I got something similar to this in like a navy with red, but it's honestly the same exact fit of sweater. And it was 29.99. These are things supposed to be like 70 quid, 80 quid. The one I got from Cheshire Oaks was 49, so that was pretty cheap. This one's 20 quid cheaper. 30 quid for a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. And the fit is perfect. I know the color is a little bit out there and a lot of people probably wouldn't wear this, but I'm a massive fan of blue, so. I'm obviously going to wear it. It's really nice material, perfect fit. This is an absolute bargain. I wish they had more Tommy Hilfiger stuff. It's probably like my favourite designer brand, just because it's not too expensive, is it? I really like the branding, I like the logo, and I like the designs as well. I think it's proper top notch. It looks pretty sick, so kind of retro with modern. It's coming back in, isn't it, big time. Right, next up we've got loads of t-shirts. We've got Champion, Calvin Klein, Vivian Westwood. We'll try on this one. It's like more of a retro Champion tee. The Champion have gone massive now, haven't they? Like proper streetwear. And they're selling them for a lot more expensive than they are. Well, when they were, they used to sell them in JJB when I was a kid. Dead cheap and nobody wanted to wear a Champion. Do you know what? I'm actually a little bit surprised at this because I thought the fit was going to be horrendous. The length is actually really good for me. The quality of the tee is really thin though, so it's not the best quality. I could imagine it shrinking in the wash. It was only 9 99 a tenner. It's quite a nice tee. I do quite like the branding on the sleeve. Not bad at all. If you're into champion, you're into streetwear, definitely go and have a look at TK. Not bad, eh? All right, let's try on this uh, Calvin Klein one, grey. So the fit of the Champion one is actually much better than the Calvin Klein one. Like, if you can see here, how short the sleeves are. I know it like makes your arms look bigger or whatever, but it's like coming away here. 
they're just really short and I don't need to size up because it fits me like perfect around the uh, chest, shoulders, back it's a little bit short in length that is the only problem with designer that's why I don't always buy stuff because just because it's expensive doesn't mean that the fit and the quality is going to be really good just it it depends on uh, various items at the end of the day this is definitely not something that I'm going to wear we've got a Vivian Westwood tee in a size large my dad wears these all the time and they are quite nice to me I do like the Vivian Westwood logo looks pretty sick again though this is like a really small fit and I'm not a massive guy anymore like I am I've lost a bit of size to be honest it varies in different brands doesn't it at the end of the day this is too small for me it's too short it's too tight around my arms around my body I don't want to be walking around like this it's actually like I've just gone in my sister's room and gone oh yeah I'll just wear one of her t-shirts today because I don't have anything to wear so that's how small it feels on me next up is this Calvin Klein like performance gym t-shirt let's have a look all right so this is a better fit it's not as tight it's a little bit looser around the arms the length is better obviously you want it to be a bit more free-flowing for the gym don't you different material as well it's actually not bad to be honest it's a little bit loose on my arms 19.99 I definitely wear it to the gym though not bad at all is it really the price of the um, what was it Vivian Westwood 40 quid for that t-shirt the Vivian Westwood one I think they're supposed to be like 18 shops maybe even more not ideal that even for the fit I would not pay that just because you're paying for that little brand there and listen, the quality of my Soul Fit t-shirts are better. Make sure you go and check them out. They're going to be linked in the description. And they're like 12 quid. That's mad. It's mad how building a brand up over time can inflate your prices. We've got some joggers from Adidas. These were 20 quid, medium. They look like football joggers, you know what I mean? Like, perfect for the gym, really, so... Let's try and put a t-shirt on as well. Honestly, guys, if you want like a performance t-shirt, these ones from Uniqlo are the ones I go for. It's much better than the Calvin Klein one. And it's like 11 quid or something. The fit is better, the feel is better. Perfect. I always went to the gym, man. All right, guys, so I actually do quite like these. These are for like football training, if you're going playing footy. I like the stripe down the side. The only problem I've got is they're really tight around my calves. I know I've said this before, but I honestly must have bigger calves than usual. Because everything usually fits me around the rest of the leg. My calves are just fucking beasts. It's pretty annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. Uh, yeah, not bad. I like the zips. Perfect for the gym, do you know what I mean? 20 quid and you get in Adidas joggers. Right, now we're going to end it with something a little bit smarter. We've got a pair of trousers, which were 20 quid. 1922, I don't know if that's designer, but I just saw them and thought they looked quite nice. And then the Vivian Westwood shirt, inner size large, which was, which was it now? 49.99, but these are supposed to be, I think like 120, my dad said to me the other day. Pricey that, isn't it? It's literally just like pissing it down. So if you can hear rain, sorry about that. But this is the shirt from Vivian Westwood, a size large. And this is what I don't understand about designer brands or even like high street brands at the end of the day. How can a size vary so much just from a different piece? Like this is a large shirt and it's absolutely huge on me. I tried the large t-shirt on and it's tight. It's like my sister's size. Discrepancies like that is what pisses me off about brands because it should be this true to size all the way through. Like if you get a large t-shirt, the large hoodie should fit the same person. It's very annoying. That's why I'm start, I've got a brand myself because I've struggled with this for so many years. It's so annoying. You go to get something and it's just, yeah, it's well small. And then you go and get something and it's dead big from the same brand. Like what is that even about? Like look, it, it looks like a tent on me. 
It's a really nice high quality shirt, I'm not going to lie. If I got this in a medium, it'd probably fit me perfectly as well. Um, very, very annoying, to be honest. Anyway, if you want to get some bargains that are not designer, go and check out Sulfit clothing because I'm going to say it so many times on my channel, but the fit of my stuff is honestly the best you're going to find out there. And it's so affordable as well. We're going to have a Black Friday sale up to 70% off. So just keep your eyes out anyway. I'm sure you'll see more of it because I'm going to be investing a lot of time into that and money. It's going to be the one. Sulfit is going to expand 2020 is going to be the year for it so make sure you go and check it out all right we've got the trousers which i'm not a fan of either because they're 34 waist yeah they fit me they're just they're not stretchy they're not like the river island ones i've got or the uniqlo they're just not comfy i'm just not going to wear them so this video has taught taught you guys a little bit hasn't it that designer isn't everything Go and find stuff that fits you better because fit is the most important thing for clothes in my opinion. If you've got some nice fitting clothes that you can pair with loads of different outfits like really versatile colours, you're going to look like a sick guy, you're going to stand out, you're going to be a stylish guy and that's the one. That is the one, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. But I'm going to wrap up the video there guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop it a like. If you want to check out any of this stuff, Go to your local TK Mac, go and have a look. My favourite thing has to be the Tommy Hilfiger sweater. That is an absolute bargain. That is my favourite thing. The Champion T was actually pretty good as well for a tenner. Not going to lie. But that is it for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. See you later.